Today, we take a look at leaks versus reality, the rumors versus the official specs. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. So, I told you guys that I would make a video talking about the leaks versus reality of the recently announced RX 6000 GPUs. To be honest, a lot of stuff leaked in the weeks before the announcement has been accurate, so let's get into it. The one thing that has been a constant for Big Navi, or at least the leaks, is its full Navi 21 die. It's been said that it would contain 80 compute units, and survey says it does have a max of 80 compute units. How the die would be cut down throughout the stack though, that was a bit ambiguous for a while. With the top of the line 6900 XT at 80 CUs, many different variants would have been possible. One of my predictions from back in May was based on the Rogue Game leak showing four different variants for Navi 21. I made a split of 80, 72, 64, and 60 CUs, and obviously there are no 64 CU cards. Instead, we now have 80, 72, and 60 CUs variants. Next up, we have the memory. We've known for a long time that Big Navi would have a very large amount of VRAM. 16 gigabytes has been talked about continuously, but we thought that we would see a 12 gigabyte variant. Turns out that all of the Navi 21 chips announced have 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. 12 gigabytes might still be on the table, but that would be either for a lesser card, like a even further cut down Navi 21, or a Navi 22 chip. The type of memory has never been in question, but I do have to tip my hat to Red Gaming Tech on YouTube. While he was a skeptical at first, his leaks on the Infinity Cache and the 256-bit bus for Navi 21 were pinpoint accurate, while others were mentioning 384-bit. For power consumption, that one was all over the place. Igor's lab made an estimate for the 6800 XT, or Navi 21 XT, which ranged from 320 watts for the reference card all the way up to 355 watts for custom cards. Reality is, the 6800 XT or Navi 21 XT is actually 300 watts, which is not that much of a difference, but we'll still have to see how far AIBs will push their custom variants. I mean, with Nvidia, a custom card could pull up to 130 watts more than the reference card, so it's possible that an AIB could reach that 355 watts. In terms of clock speeds, the information was fairly broad, but the leaks were actually in the ballpark. For Navi 21 XL, that's the 6800, it was right inside the leaked range. Range. And the same goes for the reference Navi 21 XT card, that's the 6800 XT and 6900 XT. We'll have to wait to see if the AIB clocks are accurate though, since they were significantly higher than the reference ones. And then there's price. According to Cortex on Twitter, who was brave enough to post it, his sources claimed that AMD was going to start at $599, but that after Ampere's announcement, the company went down to $549. Turns out that the starting price is $579, so that's pretty close for the 6800. So in one way, the leaks were accurate, but in another, they were also wrong. Whether we're talking about Red Gaming Tech, Moore's Law is Dead, Rogue Game on Twitter, Igor's Lab, Patrick Sure, or copite 7 kimmy on Twitter, or any of the leakers in fact, going back and looking at most of the quote leaks, no one was 100% accurate, but that's part of the fun. Information gets out, the bad information gets slowly sifted away until right before launch, where we can either get hyped and that we were right or get disappointed. In that case, I was very much impressed by AMD. Anyways, we've got a lot more to see from AMD in the next few weeks. Frank Azor from the company recently said that we will have more information on the upsampling tech and on ray tracing capabilities in the time between now and the release dates. So we'll have to stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it for the leak versus reality video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's video. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.